Hello, my name is Clemens Heiser. I'm an ear, nose, throat doctor, head and neck surgeon and sleep physician. I'm the head of the sleep laboratory in the ENT department at Klinikum Rechts der ISA, Technical University of Munich, here in Germany. I'm dealing with upper airway stimulation, or let us call hypoglossal nerve stimulation, almost 10 years. More than 150 patients have been implanted in our department and we are one of the worldwide leading centers in hypoglossal nerve stimulation in patients with obstructive sleep apnea. Our department was involved in a lot of different clinical trials. And all these studies showed a real great benefit for these patients and an AHI reduction more than 70%. One important basic research was the cross-motor innovation study of the hypoglossal nerve, which we did in the last two years. Based on the results of this pilot study, cross-motor innovation of the hypoglossal nerve seems to appear again in about 50% of humans. This bilateral innovation seems to have a more positive outcome on the soft palate during stimulation and this seems to be associated with a better impact on the clinical outcome. A bilateral stimulation of the hypoglossal nerve so far could be a solution for even non-responders at the level of the soft palate, which we know that this is one of the key factors during upper airway stimulation. Also patients who are having a complete concentric collapse at the soft palate during dyes, during the screening procedure, could be patients who are suitable for a bilateral stimulation of the hypoglossal nerve. So far we have implanted four patients. We had no adverse events, it's a nice surgical approach and we had good tongue motions intraoperatively in all four patients. Also, we had a really nice, impressive, bilateral, intensive tongue production in these patients. And to be honest, we know from former clinical trials that this is associated with a good clinical outcome. But also, two patients have been already in our sleep lab. And again, they showed an AHI reduction of more than 70%. And both patients are reporting about an improvement in daily life quality. That means the sleepiness improved, was getting better and also the snoring definitely decreased. Hypoglossal nerve stimulation will be very important in the future for patients with obstructive sleep apnea as alternative for PAP incompliance or non-adherence. It is such a smart idea to stimulate the upper airway without altering the anatomy of the pharynx, what we are doing in any other surgical approach. Thanks so much for listening. My name is Clemens Heiser. Thanks.